Welcome to Excel Basics video number 14. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Basics. Hey, in this video, we want to see how formatting can get us into trouble sometimes when we're doing calculating formulas. And we'll see that the answer is to use the round function. Hey, let's do a little tax deductions here. I'm going to click in this cell and say equal one cell to my left times. And I'm going to click on, oh, notice what I did. I'll click in the cell and hit F2. I forgot to hit Shift 8. That's why you should always use the asterisks on the number pad. One cell to my left times, and I'm going to click on this cell right here. But I need to lock it, because when I copy this formula down, that's a relative cell reference. But that needs to be locked on B7. So I'll hit the F4 key twice to put the dollar sign in front of the row reference. I'm going to hold Control and tap Enter. Remember, that's efficient if you're going to do something to the cell after putting the formula in the cell. There is our fill handle. So I put my cursor close, and when I see my crosshair, or angry rabbit, I click and drag. Then I click on the last cell and hit F2 to verify. OK, that worked. Now I'm going to click in this cell and use the keyboard shortcut for auto sum, Alt equals. It guesses right, so I'll hit Enter. Now your boss comes in, and uh, she's uh, pretty mad at you. And she, she looks at your spreadsheet and says, what are you doing? 143.96 plus 74.49 is not 218.46. And you're like, yes, it is. Excel doesn't make errors. And your boss grabs your keyboard and types 143.96. That's what you see up here. So she typed right there. And then she typed 74.49, Enter. And then she just learned that cool keyboard shortcut from you, Alt equals. And she says, sorry, uh, it's 218.45. And immediately you flash back to uh, remember you're studying Excel. And you say, oh, yeah, no, boss, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I got tricked by formatting. But I know how to fix it. Let's go ahead and highlight this. And I want to increase the decimals. Control 1, that's Control F1. I did to Control F1 is the ribbon hider and unhider. Control 1 is for format cells. I'm going to go to accounting and I'm going to increase the decimal places, say to 5. And there it is. The reason is formulas like this one right here do not look at formatting. Formulas always look at the underlying number. So there it is. We have 0.964. Here we have 0.493. Well, that 4 and that 3 get added up to 7, which then the formatting uh, only on the surface rounds this to 46 cents. Now let's Control Z and just show you that's what happened. Control Y. Control Z is undo. Control Y is redo. Even though, the, I mean, these pieces are sitting in the cell. Control Z, the formatting makes it look like they're rounded, but they're not. This number here, if I con uh, control 1 and increase the decimals to 3, we want to hack that little 7 off there. Well, the way you do it is with the round function. I'm going to control Z. Uh, and Because what we really want is exactly this, because this is right. I'm going to highlight uh, both of these cells and hit delete. Then I'm going to click in this cell and type equals, and we've got to use the round function. The way the round function works is you need some number or some calculation, like a formula. And then you need to tell it how many digits you want to round to. So our formula is one cell to the left times, and then I'm going to click on this 6.2% uh, and hit the F4 key twice to lock it. Now, the screen tip is polite. There's a number, and it reminds you you have to put a comma. So I'm going to put a comma. Now it's asking for number of digits. Now, you just have to remember this. This is the way they set it up in Excel. Uh, if you want to round to the penny, notice um, there's a decimal, right? There's 1, 2, the 10th, the uh, 100th. So the 100th is where you want to round to, because there's only 100 pennies that we're allowed to have for any $1. So the way I remember it is I have to tell it how many digits here. So I always remember decimal 1, 2. So it's 2. For a penny, when you're rounding to the penny, which you are with most money, except for income taxes, you're rounding to the penny. So you put a 2 there. Close parentheses and Control-Enter. 
Now I'm going to copy this formula down and then I'm going to verify by hitting my F2 key there and that worked. But there it is. Now it gets it right. You forced Excel to round and that's that's how you do it. You got to use the round function. I'm going to highlight both of these cells. Control 1 and increase the decimals just to show you that in fact it did hack those extra parts of a penny off. Now that's 2 there. I'm going to click in this cell and I'm going to click the F of X button. This is a great trick. You can go and read about the function round. Let's go look at number of digits. Uh, number of digits is the number of digits to which you want to round. Negatives round to the left of the decimal point, zero to the nearest integer. Now that's fine. If you didn't get it, you could click on this help right here and they actually have this help is really good and they have a bunch of examples. Uh, like right here, they say if the number is greater than zero, then, then the number is rounded to a specific number of decimal places. A zero, then the number is rounded to the nearest integer. So help, help works pretty good there. <coughs> a little bit better than that. But let's look at a concrete example. Let's come down here and um, I'm going to type uh, two for the penny. And then zero, that's the integer, and I'll type um, minus two. Now I'm going to uh, type a number here, 2.369, and I'm going to copy this down. And now I want to do a, a formula here and see what the 2 does, the 0 does, and the minus 2 for our round equals, and in fact we'll have to increase the column width by moving our cursor between the B and the C, equals round, and the number is going to be that comma this. Notice those are relative cell references. So here it'll round to the penny which makes this 37, right? The rounding rule says you pick that that, that position right there and if it's 5 or greater then you add one here. So this will turn out to be 37. Control enter. Now when I copy it down, what is it going to do? For income taxes, you have to round to the integer. Well, it's going to look here, because there's a zero there, and it's going to look there. That's not 5 or greater, so it'll just stay as 2. This is uh, minus 2, and it won't even do anything. It'll put a zero there. We'll actually have to change that number to have a good illustration. But let's copy this down. It shows us 2. Copy this down here, and then we'll change this formula. Um, I'm going to type 2, uh, 5, 9, 9. So that comes out to be 600. What it does is it looks right there. That's um, the decimal, the integer is 0, 1, 2. So it's, it's, you're telling it to round to right there. And so sure enough, it obeys you. All right, so don't get tricked. Um, lots of people do payroll in Excel and are off by a few pennies, right? Uh, for budgets and stuff, it doesn't matter so much because they're estimates. But let's go back through our spreadsheets because we have a problem. If we go to this uh, sheet tab we worked on earlier called Assumptions, and uh, we were to add up some of these columns doing that same trick, we'd see that we'd act we actually have some of the wrong numbers. So I'm going to highlight this whole range of values here just like we did earlier. And we're going to edit this formula. Notice if I hit F2, it's actually got the gross pay. And then down here, it has the uh, deduction. And that formula works in all of these cells. So here we want to edit this and put the round function around it. So I'm going to put my cursor right there and type round, open parentheses. And now I have my calculation. I'm going to click at the end. It's reminding me to put a comma. And then I put a 2 to the penny most calculations with money are to the penny, close parentheses, and now because I've highlighted all the cells, we've seen this trick a lot in this series, I've highlighted all the cells, I'm editing them now, but once I've edited the formula in the active cell, I can simply hold control and tap enter. And you can see that changed right there. So if I control Z to undo, which undo does that formula, control Z, watch what happens right there. Control Z, oops. I guess I got to do it right here. Control Z, see how it changes to a 6? Control Y, I just redid it. You can see that formula is right there. So be careful, be careful. One of the more common mistakes uh, with calculating formulas, got to use the round when you're required to round to a certain position. All right, we'll see you next basic video. And don't forget, 
if at the Excel Funnest channel you get here, you want to download these workbooks, the link on the left, you simply click on it. There's the Excel Basics, there's the free book you can download, and there's lots of other workbooks here you can download. And there is the address right there.